Join us as we share a little tea with Goldie. Hi again, and glad of it. <laughs> Well, ladies, you've done it again. After last week's show where we discussed leftovers, I got so many hints from you ladies concerning leftovers that I just have to share a few of them with you so you can dig just where a few of you are really at. For instance, about 30 of you ladies got rid of those troublesome leftovers in exactly the same way, and I want to thank all of you ladies for mailing them to me. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> we'll eat that later. <laughs> Here's another far out idea. This one comes from Mrs. Cleo Flapner of Egg, Ontario, and she writes, Dear Goldie, I got rid of my troublesome leftovers by gift wrapping them in a brightly colored wrapping paper and then leaving them in an unlocked car in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> Good for you, Mrs. Flapner. Well, let's get settled down again. <laughs> get down to business and talk about something that's very near and dear to all our hearts. And of course, ladies, I'm talking about our faces. You know, our faces are located in a very strategic position on our bodies. They're right up front and on top, directly connected to the head. And we all know how important our heads are. <laughs> and if you don't, I'm sure all the heads do. <laughs> so, let's be thankful for having our faces on our heads. And let's honor them and celebrate them. And what better way to celebrate them than to decorate them? Now, I know that a lot of you ladies and a few of you guys paint your faces, but I'm not talking about basic street makeup. I'm talking about super decorations, designs that express you. For example, think how much fun it would be if you went to a PTA meeting wearing one of those. Imagine what the principal would think of you. <laughs> it would be great. And you know, you can use all of your regular makeup to make these designs, like lipstick. And ladies, speaking of lipstick, did you ever stop and think about where that stuff winds up? Well, it doesn't fall off on the floor. Most of it, ladies, about 12 tubes per year, per lady, you end up eating. Did you ever think of that? So instead of having it a little at a time, why not just put it in a casserole and eat it all at once? <laughs> or better yet, next time you drive the kids to school, you can just paint a racing stripe down your face like that. Isn't that great? Hot Rod Mama's on the road again. <laughs> yeah. And ladies, you know, a smile is always good for a laugh. So the next time you're feeling really down and out of sorts and blue, well, just paint one on. Then when you look in the mirror, your whole attitude will change. <laughs> and you know, ladies, all those groovy new eyeshadows and shades, they're great to help change your face. And why not change your face? I mean, after all, you wake up every morning, you get out of bed, you brush your teeth, you know, you go to the mirror, and what do you see? You see the same old face. So why not change it beyond recognition so that the next time you look in your mirror, what are you going to see? You're going to say, hi, new person. Who are you? Want to fool around? <laughs> so ladies, have fun with yourselves. Have fun with your husbands. Just paint one on. <laughs> this is Goldie O'Keefe saying, victory through vegetables. Paint yourself happy in peace. Thank <laughs> you.